Hi, welcome back. Today we're looking at something for faculty specifically. So we're looking at how can faculty make use of chat GPT or any AI solution in the classroom. So right here we've got a an example on the screen where I say we are making a quiz for Canvas in QTI format. I have specified the format below. Please let me know if you understand what I am saying. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop the format constraints just right here in this window so that you can see it below and I'm going to you know get a response from chat GPT or AI. Now below I'm going to paste how we process QTI files and I mean shift enter to get a new line here and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in right there and so what we have here is a question is created by a line that starts with a number followed by a period and one or more spaces or tabs example is one dot right there possible choices are created by lines that start with a letter followed by a closing parentheses and one or more spaces or tabs and we have the a with the closing parentheses there with a space numbers and letters do not have to be ordered or unique right there the correct choice is designated with an asterisk and it's got like a star c i'm going to change that to star a because my correct answer actually is star a all question and choice text is processed as markdown and i put an example here Quiz title, shuffle chance answers true, um, a statement right there, true, false, and then what is the primary function of LS, and I've got the correct statement there with feedback selected there. Let me just go ahead and tell it that the beginning of the file will include some specific instructions. For the quiz functions. Next, I'll say the dot 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 preceding a comment allows for individual feedback when answers are when uh, the respective answer answer is selected. Let's see if I can get back online here. All right, there you go. So I've got this and I've got that right there. I'm talking to AI and I'm gonna say, send that message in and I'm gonna see if it understands. And it says, yes, I understand what you're asking for, specifically specifying the format. Here's a summary, questions start with a number, choices start with a letter, you know, okay, correct choice designate asterisk, all question choice text is process markdown, specific instructions of the quiz, instructions are included at the top of the file. Okay, super, well, I have a quiz that, uh, like most of my quizzes, is in text. Now, this quiz is from a forensics challenge site, so this is actually a quiz that I've modified from a forensics challenge site. It's very close to... Uh, the original submission, um, whoever the original submitter was on, on that site. And that could be U Ujunio uh, Ukonkwo, um, who originally posted this. So let me go ahead and put in my quiz here. So I'm putting the quiz in, and I've got my little options in there. I'm going to go ahead at the top, right here, where I've got the credit, I'm going to go ahead and copy this and put this here, paste, and I'll go over here and I'll say please include this credit, I'll say this line in the description. And I'm just going to kind of throw it a curveball here. I'm not putting it in the description, I'm telling it to create an appropriate title and create an appropriate description. Now I'm saying, please include this line in the description right there. And then I've got all my questions specified. Let's see if it can do this with 25 questions. Uh, now it's coming out with XML here, which looks like it's already formatted. It's already creating QTI uh, with what I have here. Now, what I'm going to ask for is, can it output text? 
because in this case it is putting it out in QTI format so we can go down and look at this and see what it's saying there and I'm going to say please output the entire quiz in text format not XML now over here it didn't create the appropriate title it didn't go through and uh, and fix the questions so I'm gonna have to tell it about that I'm gonna have to say hey you need to fix this it'll take a while for it to uh, finish this but I'm gonna go ahead and say stop and this is something that you may have to work with I was like please change each question number to number period and uh, each answer to letter I'll put a space there letter close parentheses and number right there with a period okay once again it's not done it right it's it's flipped out on this why and I'll say why are you putting numbers on the answers And I'm going to say the answers are written correctly. However, the questions are not in the number period format. Number each question and remove the question line okay now it's coming out and it is creating my quiz and it's uh, uh, right here select one is actually something that shouldn't be in there I can tell it to remove select one or I can wait till it finishes and then I can remove select one right I can I can do that now it did not answer the questions what if we could say please answer these questions and we can see how it would answer these questions I'm actually gonna try to let it finish here so yeah, click down there hopefully it'll connect back up it'll continue going And choose continue generating here and have it finish off the last uh, question here now this is the completely free version of chat GPT and once again I am using um, the forensics challenge quiz which I've modified directly from the uh, uh, national forensics website where they have forensics competitions so it is almost done and it is now uh, finished so it finished generating it we can choose this to copy it we can now paste this into a, uh, a text editor and go to remove all of these select ones so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm going to ask it to answer well let's just do this what is a good title and description for this quiz do not regenerate the entire quiz now several of these um, these prompts when I type it in rendered exactly what I was looking for without any modifications and that really wasn't very useful <laughs> but um, this one 
gave us just enough modification that you can see how you would adjust your prompt as you go through on the configuration with ChatGPT. Okay, now we're back and I have made the slight modifications to the file here and I'm going to feed this back in with, you know, the quiz title, quiz description. <clears throat> Everything correct there. Oops, let me undo that. Everything is correct, um, except for, there are no answers. So I'm going to say, please answer this quiz with the appropriate asterisk before the letter of the correct answer. Regenerate the entire quiz below in text format. So we're going to give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Okay, so far it's going really well. It's Forensics Challenge Zero Two. Um, it's going through and selecting. Of course, you'll have to go through and verify whatever uh, whatever the answer is here, whatever the correct answer is in each one of these. So you'll have to verify that. Uh, but it's going through and it's trying to answer the quiz. So it is actually putting this together and giving it a shot. So which is just kind of amazing that we can just tell it to uh, tell the AI to take our quiz and then we can, I mean, we could actually compare what the AI answers. They didn't put a single answer here, which there's no way that it can answer these questions um, without the actual, the, the data image. So what it's putting here is, is absolutely, I mean, it's completely Looney Tunes. Uh, but it's trying to answer these questions, <laughs> um, which is just amazing that it's going through and doing that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop that. It can't answer the questions without, uh, without having the actual um, the data set, which is a, a hard drive image that you're performing digital forensics upon. But look at this. I mean, it tried to give, it gave it a shot, right? And it will do this. Uh, Keep this in mind that it will give you false answers and it will give it'll mix things up sometimes so you've got to be aware of that it's not something that you should use to, to grade work uh, from a standpoint that is this absolutely correct because eh, it'll make things up right or um, you can't use it for references either um, if we went through and said you know give me some references as an example but in any case hopefully you can see that we now have a completely formatted and i can just paste it again I now have my entire quiz formatted where I can go through and select the correct answers here and upload this to Canvas and have it grade, automatically grade every one of these, uh, these, these students. So uh, because this is multiple choice, if it was essay, then of course you have to go in and you have to grade the essays or if it's file upload, you have to grade the file uploads. But absolutely amazing. I uh, hope that you find this uh, useful, this video useful, and uh, if so, fantastic. Uh, in any case, I look forward to talking to you in the near future.